This is Math 98. I'm going to adjust the camera so you can see the problem. This is question number eight on uh, the practice test one. And the directions say uh, graph. So I'm going to look at this inequality. It's not an equation, right? It's an inequality. And I'm going to graph it. And the thing I like about this is the form. It's in slope-intercept form where I can read the y-intercept and the slope right off of it. A <laughs> slop and the slope right off of it. So my y-intercept is negative 3. Remember when x is 0, y would be 3. So it goes to the point 0, negative 3, has a slope of 2. Same as 2 over 1. Remember slope measures steepness, rise over run. So let me get this thing graphing. Boom, negative 3, 1, 2, 3 is here. Slope of 2, over 1, up 2, over 1, up 2 over 1, up 2, over 1, up 2, blah, blah, blah. And before I draw my line, I'm going to look and make sure that it's either dashed or it's solid. And this one is less than or equal to. So this side can be equal to that side and still make the statement true. So that means I'm going to use a solid line, which shows I do have this boundary, and my boundary works. My boundary is part of the solution. The next thing I need to decide is, is I'm, I'm going to shade above or below. What collection of points makes this true, above the line or below the line? I'm just going to test the point and see what happens. So I'm going to test 0, 0. I love testing 0, 0 because it's so little work. Y is 0. X is 0. 2 times 0 is 0. So I have 0 minus 3. So the question I'm asking myself, is 0 less than or equal to negative 3? 0 is not less than negative 3. It's not. So that means 0, 0 does not work. So I shade the opposite side. Every point below this solid line, if I pick any of them and I plug it in, it will make this side less than that side. My line's solid because it can also be equal and still make it true.